Hi, I'm Robbie Myers, the assistant editor at Scuba Diving Magazine. And I'm Becca Hurley, the digital editor for Scuba Diving Magazine, and we're both test team divers for Scuba Lab. We just got finished with our 2018 computer test uh, where we tested the Cressy Cartesio dive computer. This dive computer is part of Cressy's Atelier line, which means you can only buy it in their brick and mortar stores. One of the first things we noticed about it was the nice shiny bezel, which surrounds the high contrast display. This computer is capable of nitrox, has two tank switching, and has its own free diving mode. This computer features a two button operation system, making it very easy to navigate through the different menus. Can you walk us through those? Yeah, so like you said, the navigation is pretty straightforward. So you have the two buttons up and down to page through the different menus. Uh, and then a long press on the top button will be used to enter menus and make selections, while the bottom button, uh, a long press, will back out of menus. Um, so that's pretty much all there is to it. So the first menu you'll start on, the default, is the time menu. Um, so you'll get your time and date there. Paging up through the menus, the next one you'll see is the chrono. This is just the stopwatch function. So a short press on the uh, top button will start and stop the timer. And then a short press on the bottom will reset it. And then to get back out, you just hold the bottom button. And then the next menu on our list will be mode. This is the dive modes for the computer. So air, EAN, or EAN, nitrox, free diving, gauge, and an off mode. So if you don't want the computer to log your dives, you can just put it to off if you're swimming or something like that. Uh, it is important to note that once you do a dive in any of the modes, you will be locked out from changing it. So if you're planning on doing something like with air and nitrox in the same day, you'll want to start in nitrox with a 21% mix. Uh, the next menu on our list is going to be the dive log. And so the main menu shows you the total number of logs in there. In a long press on the top button to enter, and then you can just thumb through the different logs. And then you can long press on the top to select any you'd like to get in deeper to, or long press on the bottom to get back out. The next menu is the dive setting. Um, so right now we are set to nitrox, so you'll see deep stop, and you flip through. Uh, safety factor, altitude. You'll also choose your gas mix here. And something to know, um, so when you select things, so here we'll hit the top button to get into the selection. It'll flash the thing you're changing, so here it's the percentage. And you can just thumb up and down the buttons to choose. Long press to select. Uh, so you also have the PPO2 here as well. And then a long press on the bottom to get back out. And then if you're in the free dive mode, um, they will have different settings in the dive settings once you change that. Uh, then you've got your time setting menu. So you can choose a time alarm, you know, to make sure you don't miss the boat. Uh, you've also got the time and date setting here, as well as a secondary time you can set. Long press to get back out on the bottom button. And then you've got the plan uh, screen here. And this is only going to be available if you're in nitrox or air. Uh, just set the depth you want to be at, and it'll give you the corresponding uh, no decompression limit. And then the next menu there is going to be the system, which we'll hop right back to in a second. But first, I want to show you the pre-dive screen. This will have all the settings you have um, in the computer. So you can just double check before you die that everything is set the way you need it to be. Uh, so we'll thumb back down to the system, enter here. Um, so this is how you'll connect to the PC with this first menu here, which we'll do in just a second. This also allows you to erase the computer if you need to clear it uh, for any reason. This is where you will find the ascent alarms are going to be in this menu, uh, as well as the units. So just know that they're here, not in the dive settings. Uh, you also have the serial number information, as well as a history of just the maximum depth and the hours logged on the computer, uh, as well as the units, so meters and feet, uh, Celsius, Fahrenheit. Uh, and that's pretty much all the different menus here. So now we're going to show you guys how to connect the Cartesio to your computer to download the dive logs. So you'll need your computer and the USB interface, which you'll just clip on the front of the computer, just line up so Cressy's going the same way on both of them. That allows you to see the window of the computer. And then you'll want to scroll through to System, Long Press, and then PC, you'll Long Press. And then you should get a red light here on the clip, which will show you, tell you that it is connecting to the computer. So then you'll be able to download your dive logs, and you can go through the graphic display that will tell you um, the depth and temperature that you're at, as well as any other information from the computer. Um, as well, you can add general notes on the dive site and conditions, and uh, check your settings that the computer was set to at the time. And then any new dives that the computer doesn't have, it will prompt you to download automatically. When you're ready to disconnect the computer, 
Just go here to safely remove, click that, and then once it gives you the prompt, you're good to unclip it and get back in the water. During our in-water testing, I really appreciated the compact size of the computer, uh, but even out of the water, I've come to find that it's actually a pretty comfortable everyday watch. When I tested this dive computer, I found the two-button navigation to be very easy with the long and short button holds. I'm Becca Hurley. And I'm Robbie Myers, and this has been our walkthrough of the Cressy Cartesio dive computer.